So what you do is on day one, you put them in a room with two objects that are identical. You let them inspect them and they'll spend a lot of time inspecting them. The next day, you take out one of those objects and put in an object that's different. So now you have two objects. One is the same, the other is different. When you introduce the mice back in, they should spend more time around the new object. If they don't, that means they don't remember it. If they spend equal amounts of time around the objects when they go back in, that means they didn't remember from the day before. Right. And what they found was that you had a tremendous improvement in the group that was treated versus the group that was not. Giving them that nicotinamide riboside, if you look at the red, you can see that's the mutant group that's untreated. In the black, you have the control group. And then in the blue, you have the mutant group that's treated. The standard mutant group treated with NMN. Right. And they basically did just as well as the, the regular wild type mice. So based on this mouse study, it appears that NAD supplementation may be helpful with Alzheimer's disease in humans. It was clearly helpful with mice and worms.